the scene is set at the dancing bear, where things have recently died down a bit. There haven't been quite as many kindred visiting the bar of late, although the number of mortals walking in and out appears unchanged. It's a crisp evening as autumn approaches, and Joshua Deep walks into the restaurant, where he's greeted at the entrance by Nadja. Oh, hello, Mr. Deep. How are you? It's been a long time. Nadja, it's been too long. Is Vasily available? Oh, yes, 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 yes. He, ha he always has time for you. Uh, come with come, come with me. He's, he's downstairs. Joshua will follow uh, Nadia into the dancing bar. Ooh. Right. Uh, Nadia leads Joshua to the back, just in front of the curtains leading to the to the rear part of the warehouse, and turns to Joshua and says, Joshua, just just want to, to say you're, you're welcome in our house for this evening. Thank and you, Nadia. And walks through the curtain. Behind the curtain... Uh, Joshua is able to feel a very, very strong presence, similar to one that he has felt in the past. Uh, something that's sort of there, but not quite there. I'll sort of gently uh, start moving down the stairs. Sort of carefully observing, because this is part of the dancing bar I haven't been to. Nadja leads him down the stairs underneath the hidden flank stone and past the kitchen area, behind one of the doors, into the sound of children playing. A couple of people walk past carrying food from the kitchens and they nod to Joshua. One of them waves and says, uh, hello, sir as he passes by. Eventually they come to the rear doors leading to the, to the den, and Nadja opens it and peeks her head through. Grandfather, uh, Joshua's here to see you. Oh, Osni is here. Good, we have much to talk about. Uh, have him come in. Nadia waves to Joshua and holds the door open for him. Thought it was a uh, time we should talk. I think so. We sit, sit. Joshua takes um, a seat and relaxes a little bit. He's still breathing. He's still got colour like a, a living human. His normal disguise is he wanders around town to make himself less conspicuous than most of his kind. Silly is as rosy and as hairy as ever. So, I don't know if you've heard the latest news or bad. Mm. Bits and pieces, what have it? Well, Frank Ford's left town. <clears throat> and Luke has gone after him. Oh, I did my best to not let it come to that point. Tried to get rush just to stop him as well. The boy has too much hate in his heart. I know. I tried to get him to let it go. It is the kind of hate that will consume him. But there is nothing really. If his heart is set on it. The ramblings of old men will not stop him from his course. 
we can only guide them to see them. We can show them the choices that they have, but it's still for them to choose. Them. I Which tried to um, not let it come to that. He was well, the Gangrel and the Anarchs were too obsessed with Nathaniel. Maybe this will do him good. Maybe he needs to stretch his legs. Maybe he'll learn from this. And I hope he comes back to us. He hasn't learned a thing. I went to a lot of effort to make sure that there would be no doubt of his demise to prevent his idiocy. We would have found out eventually from someone like the Giovanni or oh, the DNA of the Ashes. The Giovanni, if I had asked them, would have told you that the church was still dead. <laughs> uh, let me guess, the Ashes probably contains a part of Richards as well. That is part. <laughs> well, I cannot fault you in your planning. It would have worked. But Nathaniel went and told every blighted fool he was still alive before he left. I am just lucky that Rosa was made prince and I had it called off. But Lord you Hunt, Hunt I would be un under investigation for helping him. Then there will at least be two of us on the map. Understand, Osner. I could not have caught him. I, you know, as well as I do, how hard it is to catch an elder. That would have been anyone might catch him. In the same way that was done before, but. I suspect he would be caught the first time. It's hard if you can't see your enemy and they're strong enough to punch a stake through you. Uh, but it is also hard to catch a man who every night disappears into the ground and every morning flies away somewhere else and simply spends his night as mist every once in a while coming out to hunt and maybe kill someone. True. Hunted in the forest for a long time like that, Osni. When I was first running from the lupines, no, we would not have caught him. But the trouble with Richards is he still was a man of habit. And that would have been his undoing again. When you were in the woods, you kept moving. Richards was fixated on this town on Wolf. And while Wolf was here, so was Richards. When Wolf left, so did Richards, but in his normal way, causing as much chaos along the path. That was not actually what happened. Richards did not leave because Wolf left. Richards left because of the agreement he had with me. He had already left the city before Wolf came back. Ah. That was part of the price. Did that you hear what? Sorry, the city. It was. He was to leave the city and have everyone think he was dead. But he couldn't help leaving a message for his sire. I did not know what it meant. By the time I did, <sighs> oh, poor doll already know. And it was too late. And then he showed himself to Luca. Oh, I did not know about that part.
saw twice before. I do not know if he knew that showing himself could get me killed. I'm not very happy with that. Well, he will not be coming back. No. And if he does, this time I will make sure that he goes away. I won't kill him, I'll just stake him and I'll dig a hole somewhere and I'll put him in it. You can sit there and think for a few centuries while he gets his uh, common sense together. Have you had any children in Austin? No. I didn't think so. When you told me you were going to give... Do you know why I helped him escape? There were three reasons. The first... Before you give me the answer, I just want to say one thing. No. The reasons are immaterial, Vasily, for one reason. I know, I trust you, and if you did it, you did it for the right reasons. But there is a reason that you need to know. I will just tell you the one, then. How long have you been friends with Cole? Since I came to the city, probably on and off for the best part of a century. And how long has he been called your fag? Less than three months. Would you say you two are the rock of the clan Gangrel in the Camarilla? I would like to say no, but the answer is yes. Well, I went to you that night and asked you your plan for Richards. You told me you were going to give two choices to Paul. I am there. In truth, you are giving him three. Either taking of his child final death of his child, or to work against you in secret and help the force escape. Either one of those three would have poisoned your relationship forever. You may not know it, since you have not had a child. If you are not being kind in your choice, Joshua, it was a very cruel one. I wasn't trying to be kind, Vasily. I was trying to be fair. I was trying to... I was trying to allow coal and Ford to resolve their issues with Richards and to finally put his ghost at rest. If there wasn't a kindness, then I can see that. But maybe I have not thought as deeply about this as I should. If he had simply been staked, or if Tarasius had helped him to get away, the rest of the clans would have seen Clan Gangrel as having no respect for the blood. Really, there were only two choices that would not have resulted in more turmoil. Both of them were bad, but I, being Otarchus, could take the blame. You asked me to come here to help you and to make choices that you could not make. This was one that needed to be made. 
in good order. If one of the clan is put on that blood hunt, there should be no choices. Remember one thing, Vasily, there is a responsibility that we have to those younger than us. And that is to be here to help them. Oh, Joshua, that is why I had thought in getting Richard out and giving Frank the lie that I would be giving both of them a fresh chance at life. I think in one way, even now, things are better than they were before. Or does not know where Richard is. That at least will give some distance and some time for the two of them to think. I need to be away for a while. I need to go to Europe. Wolf told me something when he was here. He said that the gang girl had left the camera. That oh, Zabby had. Calais pulled us from the camera. I'm not sure that one just the car can pull the whole clan out, but... If anyone just the car could, it would be Xavier. I left years ago, Joshua Osney. You know why. I think it likely that he has left for the same reasons. I would say I told you so, but I cannot say that this is a more enjoyable existence. You have your family. You have your food. There is the music. There is that. So, maybe it, everything is better. But... I, I think need to, I need to go and look for Xavier and I need to talk to him. Or I need to talk to some of the other elders in Europe and find out what, what is going on. Very well. I have, I have some names of Kindred. I will pass them on to you. I will try to give you only names of those. Who my name will curry favor with. <laughs> there are no few who are just a little angry at the silly. Um, I still managed to go through most of my life without having any living enemies. <laughs> but yes, well, you slept a lot longer than I have. Not that many living friends. That and you have a tendency to keep to yourself. I've been a little too involved. Time both is a lot of work. And it's a lot of work being a, a reclusive billionaire. I will. I will miss your name. I will try to keep care of the younger ones while you're gone. Who will be Primogen in your stead? Hi, Keith. Um, Sebastian Fall. Marcosius. Marcosius. Are you sure that's wise? Yes, he's steady and he's fucking ruthless to him the crossing. I know, but I was under the impression he had made very many personal enemies among the Ventro. I have resolved most of that. I also will give you the same weapon that I will give to um, that I'm thinking of giving to Arcosius. Something that nobody outside Crown Ventro knows. And what is it? 
Lazarus von Hunsbruch killed Kennedy. An elder of a clan killing a primogen without permission. Well, if it is only for a little while, we shall see. I'm hoping that will be enough armor in the meantime. That's the second thing. My only other concern, Rosny, is when you go to Europe, the Harpies will be calling back to here. Very many of the elders will not be happy with you for making cage of primogen. It may hurt your position. I'm counting on it. I will I want to reinforce my Cassius's position as Gangrel, adopted or otherwise. He is still a member of our clan, regardless of his origin. He has the respect and the cooperation of the primogen of Clan Tremere. Seraphis Shaw and I think Flag and I well, I think we've buried our major concerns between us Very well I will not tell Marcosius about Lotharius but don't use the information unless you absolutely have to. I told Frank that I would keep it to myself as best I could. Well, I am currently friends with Clan Ventro. So I do not see any need to use it. I suspect that von Hunsbruch's life expectancy is not long for this world. You know that Kennedy was the child of Lady Orchid. A bloody world often leads to a bloody end. But it is the way of things. Hasty words and hasty actions. You should read a book called Lord of the Rings. There are some characters in that I admire greatly. I and the younger ones. Show me movie. Oh, it, <laughs> it was so pretty good. Very long. I will be back as soon as I can, but I suspect I should be gone for several weeks. Good speed, Joshua. Try and stop from doing anything stupid. That's the other reason I will fell in place. May upset a few of the more traditional ones, but... Have you been to feed spider lately? Most nights. Has she spoken to you? No. She doesn't want to, and I'm not going to force her. She seems content as far as a cage animal can be content for itself. She has a request for you. What is that? You should ask her. We had a lovely chat. I probably will have to wait till I get home. Is there no chance you can do it before you leave? 
What is the question of the Celia? And I'll see if I can make time. She asks for a favor. For you to remove the blood bond from her. I can do that. That means Wolf's still alive. I bet. Just needs for knowledge to have. She may have to wait till I get home to see this. I need to do, and I need to do it urgently. If I can, I will see if she is. I, I, won't have, I, I won't have time to do the ritual before I go. And I only vaguely understand how to do it myself. I've been told, but not something I've ever done. And my affinity for this kind of stuff is... Is there anybody good. else in the city who knows how? See, it needs to be done before the new prince takes residence. My son. I wonder. Very well. He's the only one that I would trust to do this. Very well. Oh, and Osni, for future reference, uh, were you the one who got her disco ball? No. Well, for future reference, it is harder to chain and cage a lupine than an elder gangrel. Take that as you will. Yes. As I say, the only thing I know about them is what I've seen the spider. And what I smelled in my travels. Otherwise, I've kept as far away from them as they've kept from me. <sighs> Brother, friend, I must go. I need to speak with more tonight if I'm to start my journey. So he stands up and. and the lips Joshua in a hug, heartfelt hug. Joshua hugs him back and lifts him. <laughs> Go well into the night, old friend. And I will see you very, very soon. Remember, Vasily, you need me anytime, any place. I'm always there. Of course. And Joshua withdraws from the room and walks back up the stairs. Enjoying the smell and the sound as he leaves the dancing bear.